After a year away, the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo is back. Livestock and competitors from across the country have been pulling into the stock show grounds in Fort Worth all day. That is where we find our Jason Allen live for us this evening. What's happening out there, Jason? Uh, hi, Brooks. So we didn't run into a huge line of trailers today, like you can sometimes when this show gets going here in the Cultural District. But there are still livestock who are here. They're unloading tonight. There are animals. There are people who are here from 233 different counties in Texas, 43 different states. And you get an idea in talking to them just how big a hole this left in their schedule last year when organizers decided to close the show down and skip a season. The 23 day run of the show. It, it's big for competitors, but it is also very big for some of the small businesses that are out here showing uh, during the three weeks. They, they sell everything from tractors to toys. This attracts more than a million people. And for some of the people here, this is in a way kind of like their Black Friday sales period. This is when they make their money. We talked to a business owner who specializes in leather holsters, and he told us money was tight last year when the show canceled. And not just because of sales lost during the show, but it usually helps spark orders for the next few months. Selling items in person to people, he told me, is really still the best way to do it for some products. Guys don't want to have to mail stuff back and it doesn't fit right and a lot of times they're dealing with people that aren't right. So our main business is showing the customer right here, you know, hands on. So they're very glad to be back. The city estimated it was a $110 million loss last year when the show canceled. Now, one big event that we learned late today that is unfortunately going to be canceled is the All Western Parade that was scheduled to happen tomorrow morning. That always goes through downtown Fort Worth. That weather forecast and all those winds, we know they were coming in. They were really concerned, Brooke, that that just might be a little too dangerous with all the animals and the wagons and everything that winds through those buildings downtown. Better to be safe. Our Jason Allen reporting live for us in Fort Worth. Jason, thank you so much.